Afternoon everyone. Welcome to another video from Upgrade or Trash It, the channel that likes to ask the question, can we make our old laptops still usable and useful? And in this video, I'm going to be showing you how to install Windows 7 onto a Dell Latitude E6420. And to be honest, this is only a partial install and I'll explain more as the video goes on. So let's start the installation so you've got something to look at instead of just listening to my voice. Now I've got um, Windows 7 Pro on a USB stick which is plugged in so let's tell the laptop to um, boot from the USB stick, excuse me, <clears throat> so let me go through some of the basics of the Latitude E6420, it's got a second generation i7 processor, it's got um, a 250 gig SATA drive and 4 gigabytes of RAM. And when it was first released onto the market in around 2011 2012, it was running a version of Windows 7 Pro. Okay, so this is just the initial thing, it's all about the language, the time and currency, and the keyboard. So I'm going to set it all. For my location which is the UK now as I said at the beginning this is a partial install a partial success story Let me just delete a few of these just to neaten it up. Won't take more than a few seconds. Here we go. And the reason why it's a partial success story is because I couldn't for the life of me, and I spent a few frustrating hours on it now, I couldn't for the life of me get much of the hardware to work successfully with Windows 7. And what, what I meant by that is I couldn't get um, the Wi-Fi to work, nor could I get the um, display to work properly with the correct resolution or even the Ethernet um, connection to work. And this was despite the fact that I spent a couple of hours on the Dell website downloading the correct drivers for Windows 7 for this laptop. So yeah, it's been incredibly frustrating. So this is, is only a partial installation. Now I did actually find a workaround for the Wi-Fi and that's by using a Wi-Fi dongle. And I'll go through that later on in the video. But that only makes, so therefore, I was able for the laptop to be able to get Wi-Fi, but the, the next big thing that I wanted to correct was the display and the resolution, and I still haven't got a workaround for that. So if there's any of you out there who can successfully install the display driver for the, 60, the E6420 for Windows 7, then please let me know. That would be fantastic. Enough rabbiting. I'm going to stop this video because it's just the files are being transferred from the USB stick onto the laptop itself and we'll come back in a couple of minutes. So we can see that this part of the installation is almost complete. The files are at 100%. There we go. And then we're going to do a restart.
Previous installs of Windows 7 that I've done tend to take around 20 minutes or just a little bit less. And at the moment we are just over 10 minutes of installation time. So here we are on another restart. Okay, it's time to name or create a username. Okay, so this wants an, an activation with the product key. So I'm going to do skip. I'm just going to do use recommended settings. Those are all correct.
And there we have it. In about 17 minutes, there's a partial install of Windows 7 Pro on the Latitude E6420. Uh, what do I mean by partial? We well, can see that the graphics, the resolution on the screen isn't quite right. I haven't got any, um, you can see here where my mouse is. Um, there's no ethernet connection working there. And no matter how I um, switch on and switch off, the switch for Wi-Fi. That doesn't seem to work either. So what I'm gonna do is I'm um, I'm going to stop this video now and in the next video I'm going to show you a workaround for getting at least Wi-Fi on this laptop. At least a working Wi-Fi connection if nothing else. Thanks for watching.